Man, it's hard to believe I got this thing for It feels so good to be able to work on this thing again. It's almost done. There's only a little bit of things left to do and hopefully I can finish them all in this video. Main focus is the trailer. I need to clean up this trailer, make it look a little bit more presentable because it looks, it doesn't look very good <laughs> to be honest. Uh, I'm thinking about adding some fenders around the wheels, maybe painting the wheels. I'm gonna paint the whole trailer too. Uh, I need to move this steps up. I need to cover the bunks and just a bunch of little things to it. I mean, it's not gonna be super hard but that's the main focus for this video. I also have a couple other little things I bought for it. Some other little things inside. I can't remember what they are right now, but I need to install those. Another big thing I bought for it, I went ahead and bought a new prop for it. A lot of people were recommending I do because my RPMs were really low. I mean, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm still learning a lot. So thank you for all your recommendations. I actually contacted the same company who sent me the Tritune, see what they recommended. They recommended this. This is a Mercury Spitfire four blade aluminum prop. Uh, they recommended that, so we're gonna try it out, see if it works. Uh, I bet it will make a big difference though. And that's about everything I think of. Oh, I also need the captain's chair, but we'll hopefully have that by the end of this video too. So let's get to it. Okay, quickly running through everything I've done. I moved this step so forward that we would have to worry about hitting the motor on the trailer itself. Any, don't have to worry about that anymore. I was really paranoid about it. Uh, also added carpet to the bunks to avoid any kind of scratches on this. You know, it's already done a little bit, but uh, prevent any more scratches on the trim. Added a U-bolt up here so we can winch it up. And I also fixed this winch because the bolt was broken and had to find a new bolt for it. Yeah, weird how that happened. Moving to the back, I added a new prop, a four blade prop, 15 pitch, I think. So I think it's gonna make a big difference. We're gonna test that out either tonight or tomorrow. Moving up top, I added chain to my anchor. A lot of people recommended I do that. 
Uh, I hardly ever use my anchor anyway, so I wasn't really too worried about it, but I went ahead and added it for you guys, just to make you guys a little bit happy. Underneath the bar, I added another basket. Um, these baskets may seem <laughs> very unnecessary, but they're actually really nice to have, especially with the seat being here, not being able to open this thing fully. Having a little basket in here to grab what you need is really nice. Also added this. This is a remote control mount for like your wall inside your house or something. Uh, I thought it would be a good idea to put your phones in here because right now I'm having a problem of people just putting their phones and wallets in the cup holders and then you have nowhere to put your drinks. Uh, seems kind of silly or unnecessary to add, but it actually, I think it's gonna help a lot. And it also has holes underneath so we can run uh, charging ports underneath there keep everyone's phone safe and also charge at the same time. I also threw this seat up here. I'm gonna try it out tonight. I'm going out with a bunch of friends. We'll have like probably nine or 10 people on the boat. Uh, test it out, see if I like it. I just still haven't decided, so I didn't decide to bolt it down or anything yet. Just try it out tonight, see if I like it. And if I like it, I'll make this my permanent seat and then have to rewrap it and everything. But uh, yeah, I'm just gonna try it out tonight, see if, it, see if we like it. I'm gonna clean it up a little bit. It's a little dirty right now, so clean it up for my friends tonight. I don't know how much footage I'm gonna get because it's gonna be really dark and I'm also going to a new lake I'm not really too familiar with. So, not might not get not much footage, but the next day I'm gonna take it out. I'm gonna test out the new prop and we'll get a bunch of footage then. So, we'll see how well it does. All right, I'm gonna clean this up a little bit. The boat was super fun the other day with all my friends. It was just really cold. <laughs> it was also really windy. It was just kind of miserable the whole time, so I didn't get much footage. But it performed very well with nine people. I think we can even fit a couple more people on there and it'll still perform well. Held up pretty good with the waves. You know, it was splashing over a little bit because we were going against the wind and then the, the waves and splash up and kind of splash everyone. But if it's a calm day, we can definitely get way more people on there, which I'm excited about.
I went ahead and took a boat out today to test out the new prop and it performed really well. Uh, I gained a couple extra miles per hour. It's actually really windy and it's really rough today too. So I think I can actually gain a little bit more once it calms down. And yeah, thanks for the advice with the new prop. I really like it. I do believe though, if I want to get my full potential out of the boat, I would have to raise the motor a little bit. And it's just, it's creating too much drag, I think, because it's just so far into the water. If I raise it up a little bit, I think it'll be a little bit better. I'm not too focused on that right now don't really have a way to lift the motor at the moment so we'll have to save that for another time test all that out but today i really want to focus on this trailer this trailer we all know it wasn't my original trailer i bought with the pontoon boat i bought this because i added a lot of weight to the boat and my single axle trailer was wasn't cutting it 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 weighed too much for it anymore so i picked up this trailer like a month and a half ago uh i kind of picked it up because I needed a trailer more than I it was a good deal. It was not a good deal for this trailer. If I can go back and not buy it, I wouldn't. Just because it's it performs okay. It's just not very pretty. It was obviously pieced together by a bunch of different other trailers and a random axle. I don't I don't really know. It just doesn't look very good. But hopefully we can change that today because I'm not getting rid of it. I'm gonna make do with what I have. Some of the main things I want to focus on are shortening these bunks. These bunks are 20 foot long. My original trailer that came with the boat was only 16 foot long bunks and those are really good. So I'm thinking about meeting it halfway and making it around 18 foot bunks. I think that's gonna look a lot better. It just looks really weird with your bunks longer than your actual stop right here. Also want to paint repaint the whole thing black. I think black is a lot more modern look. It looks a little bit cleaner. Uh, I also want to clean it up a little bit. You can see like a bunch of uh, old metal that they didn't cut off and like these old random mounts mounting points right here Yeah, uh, cut all that off make it a little, a little bit cleaner and the main thing I bought for this that I think is gonna change the look is I bought four separate fenders to go around each wheel uh, I thought about buying like the long arch wheels for like normal double axle trailers I make like a really long one that goes over problem with this is it's a little bit more wide set and these wheels are really small so I think it would look a little weird on it so I went with the four separate ones instead I think this is gonna look really good welded on but yeah that's the plan for it hopefully it looks really good if not I will end up selling it and buying something else but I'm pretty confident that this is gonna look a lot better once I'm done with it
Now this looks a hundred times better. The black looks really good. The fenders really set it off, make it look a lot better. <laughs> it definitely looks way better. Still not perfect, but it definitely looks way better. I went ahead and put the winch on it and these bunks, the rear lights, the wiring, I put all that back on it because I had to take it off for paint. But it's all back and ready to go on. Only thing left is these bunks. Now, I need to talk about these bunks. I could just put carpet over them, tow it back on the trailer and call it a day, but that's not very ultimate. Like, <laughs> we need something different, something that makes it stand out. So, one of you guys, actually, one of my subscribers, turned me on to this company called Gatorback. They make this synthetic uh, bunk cover. It's like a really soft but also kind of hard plastic that you put on bunks. It's way better than carpet. It lasts way longer and makes it a lot easier for sliding the boat on and off. Uh, if carpet ever fails, like it rips, it will keep it, it will actually mess up your boat. And this actually prevents that because it never really rips. <laughs> it lasts a lot longer. It probably lasts longer than your wood. But that's not the best thing about it. The best thing about it is you can install LED lights underneath it. That way your bunks can light up at night and in the water so you can see where you're going. And that's super beneficial for me because I ride at night all the time and loading it on the trailer is super hard for me. <laughs> Especially at night and being by myself and everything. But these lights are like top of the line. They go right into the woods so you have to use a router to make a little groove and then you put the lights in it and then you wire them to a button. I'm working on that right now kind of you tie it into your uh, tail light lights and you put buttons up there, but that's all for later on. I'm just excited about this. They come in a bunch of different colors about the clear stuff so I can install the lights actually. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I'm not really sure what else to say. You just got to see when, it, when it's done, but I think it's going to look really cool. It's really going to set off this trailer and it's definitely going to be a really cool feature that I'm adding to it. So I'm, I'm painting these bunks right now just for an extra layer of protection. I don't think it's really super necessary, but I'm going to do it anyway. Uh, paint it one side. I'm going to flip it over and go ahead and route the groove so we can put the lights in it. I don't have all the lights right now. I'm missing two. They're going to come in pretty soon, hopefully. And uh, we can start installing the covers. It's super easy, you know, just slap it over and you just screw it all in. It comes with all the hardware you need. Yeah, <laughs> this is my first time installing this, but it seems very easy and we're going to go over it together and install them. So I'll, say, I'll tell you guys how I like it. I think it's going to be a lot easier and a lot cooler than carpet. Yeah, let's just do it.
the trailer is done and it is beautiful. I, it turned out so good, way better than I thought it would considering what this trailer looked like beforehand. I have the lights all hooked up and wired up. It's pretty clean. Did a pretty good job keeping it all pretty clean. But here's the buttons. They'll light up blue for blue. Look at that, it's so sick. And then if I want white, I also have a white option. And then I can press them both and they'll be blue and white. <laughs> Uh, it's so good. You can't really see it very well right now, but at nighttime, we're gonna put it in the water and see how it, see its true potential. And I think it's gonna be really awesome, guys. Yeah, so if you guys are looking to redo your bunks and you need some kind of light up thing for it, if you go out at night a lot, I definitely recommend this. Gatorback, super awesome product. It was very easy. I just had to wait for these other lights to come in. That's why this was like kind of loosely screwed on for a little bit, but screwed it back off, put the lights back in and wired it all up. It was super easy. Uh, screwing, screwing it took a little while, but you know, it's, it's just a lot of screws. This is all like really good hardware though. It's all stainless steel. It looks all really good. I, I'm saying really good a lot, but it looks freaking dope. It looks awesome. So we're gonna take this out tonight and check it out in the water, make sure it all works good. But other than that, this is pretty much a wrap for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let's wait till nighttime and see what it looks like.